What's up, ladies and gents? My name is Jazzman. Welcome back to the channel. I got another story for y'all. As y'all know, I, I work at a lightsaber company. I work in customer service. So we get a bunch of interesting um, customers. Well, when I get a really fun one, I like to tell y'all about it. And this one, again, involves using the lightsaber as a dildo. I've already done a video like this, but this one's a little different. This customer asked permission. All right. Let's get back to the beginning. So, it's about midday. So, obviously, this, this kid's probably in class, bored out of his mind. So, I respect... I mean, I'm assuming it's a 12-year-old on the internet with nothing better to do. But anyway, I'm sitting there in our chat service, and I'm just waiting for people to message in, and then I get this message. He's like, hello, I need help. So, I'm like, okay, cool. And then I go to a system. I'm like, hey, how can I help you? He's like, how durable are your lightsabers? And I'm like, they're pretty durable, you know. I give them the whole spiel. You hit them against the tree, they won't bend or break. They might, you know, that spiel, especially with our more high-end blades. Um, and he was like, cool, thanks. Follow-up question, um, are your sabers waterproof? Um, I'm like, you can use our sabers in a light rain or something like that, but we don't recommend submerging them or letting your saber stay, dr uh, you know, drenched. He's like, that's cool, thanks. Um, are you able to get blades, like, super short, or do they have to be the super long blades that we offer? I'm like, no, we do offer custom blades everywhere from 4 to 40 inches. And he's like, that's great, because I need a saber with 5 inches. That's all I can handle. And see, this is where I started making jokes in the office, you know, dildo jokes, unaware about what the customer was about to say to my coworkers. This boy can only handle five inches. And, you know, we start making jokes and cutting up. And um, and then a couple minutes go by, ask, is there anything else I can help you with? And the customer's like, hey, I'm going to be straight with you. I want to use your lightsaber as a dildo. Do I have your permission? And immediately, I'm like, what the fuck? But me, being my stupid ass, intentionally turned around to my supervisor and asked, can I give permission for a, what I could assume a 12-year-old child to use our saber as a dildo? And she proceeded to look at me as like, what the? You know. So then she jumped in and reviewed what was going on. And she's like, no! <laughs> In fact, she had to review it to tell me no was the beautiful part, but anyway, I, bas I basically just closed out the conversation saying, this is not the intended use of our sabers, however, what you do with your product is of your own business, similar to the spiel we gave last time. Um, and he's like, thank you, and then left. <sighs> what I don't get, is people are wanting to use our lightsabers as a dildo. Our cheapest saber is $60. Right? And I'm pretty sure you can buy a larger dildo than 5 inches for cheaper than $50. Oh no, $60. Prices went up. That's right. $60 is our cheapest one. But... <laughs> It always astonishes me that we get these questions, and they might, they're most likely trolling. I get that. We get a lot of trolls. But he didn't, all of his questions were like super serious questions rather than people intentionally trying to troll or get a response out of us like most trolls do. Um, so I don't know. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with y'all. And uh, don't stick a lightsaber up your butt. Stay jazzy.